Hello, welcome to class this month. Let's twist again. Let's twist again. <laughs> so um, we're going to be focusing on twists. There's not a ton on the Cadillac um, unless we like kind of make some. There are some. But what we're going to do is utilize our Cadillac workout and then check in with our twists. So first thing you're going to do is take a seat, put your hands on your shoulders, and twist. Try not to turn your head further. Just like see where you end up on going to the right. Like you're trying to keep your head in line with your sternum. And then twist to the left. One thing I can see because I have a mirror in front of me is that I will shift to twist. Try to stay on top of your axis. Twist. No shifty ribbies. <laughs> no ribby shifts. And then twist the other way. <clears throat> One more time each side. Twist. This is just where we're at. We're going to check in with this. And twist. Oh, do you feel how far you went? Good. So feet into the vertical poles. Grab your roll back bar and keep your arches in as you roll back. This first one, just take a moment. Stand in your feet without locking your knees. Breathe into your back. Yawn. <laughs> And then roll up. Bend your knees when it's appropriate and come back up. Try not to take your chest back first. Pull your waist back first. We don't want the chest to think that it's like in the control, right? It's the center and everything moves from there. One more time like this. You're going to go all the way back and just notice if you actually are leaning to one side more than another. Right, I kind of have this like my weight to my left. So notice that, try to keep create um, evenness in your back and the way you're laying. And then bend your elbows wide and reach the bar back up. And again, bend the elbows wide and reach. And bend your elbows wide, reach two more. This is all for the back, right? And one also keeps our arms connected to our back. So when our arms, when our back moves, our arms twist with it as opposed to our arms twisting and making us think our back moved. Take one hand in the center, one arm around your waist. You're going to roll back. We're not here. This is not a twisty roll back. You're going to go back. You're going to take your arm up overhead. Grab the opposite pole. Ooh, if you can, take the other leg across. I got stuck. I'm so tight. Ah, and then take the leg back. Wrap the arm around your waist and roll up. Ooh. That's revealing. Other side. Go back. Arm over. Leg over. Yes. Oh, breathe into your back. Take your foot over and your arm over and roll up. One more time each way. Round back. Arm over. Leg over. And then arm around. Body up. Last time. Round back. So again, this is not a twist. This is a side bend. But our side bends strengthen and allow our twists to be a lot more longer, stronger. Okay, so now what I want us to do is take your roll back bar off. We've done this before in class. We're going to put our handles on it. All right. And we're going to do a few things. We're going to do a roll up and you're actually going to see which one of your sides is being a little fickle because that's going to affect your twists. And so you roll back and you roll up and you can see with your own eyes which arm is coming across the midline maybe, which arm is pressing down more than it needs to, you know, all the things reach. And again, roll it back, pull the waist back. Oh, so revealing. <laughs> and up on this next one, roll back, squeeze your legs together, leave them down, lift your head and chest up, pump your arms for your hundred. 
Upper back is wide. Allow the Cadillac mat to help you get longer in your spine than you ever would. And it should feel easy to be curled up because the springs are helping you and just make sure it's not pulling you up too high, right? Keep your low ribs on the mat. And then roll down, place your feet back on the poles and roll all the way up. Awesome, great. Okay, you can put your roll back bar back on and we're going to do one of the few twists that come along with our Cadillac workout um, because it's just so delicious and yummy. So your arms should be super connected to your back. Your legs should know how to reach from your center. We just did a bunch of stuff where it's doing that. And we're going to reverse corkscrew or some people call it stir the pot. So here we go. You're going to take your bar, line it up with the vertical pole on, on one side, roll down, go through center, go through the other side and unwind. And again, so left hand is down, right arm is up and I'm reaching for the left side of the pole. I roll down the left side, come through center. It should feel even on your low ribs here. Align the pole with the right side. Right hand is down, come up. And again, reach, roll, lift, and left around to the right. I have a tendency to shrink on one side. That's not twisting, that's like hanging, right? So try to be long in your twist. And we twist, and we around, and we go over. Mm -hmm. And then we twist, and we round, and we go over. Ooh, okay. Now you are gonna reverse that. So my left hand's gonna go on the bottom towards the right bar, and I'm gonna stir the pot that way. Oh, and you gotta reach that right hand under pretty quick. It's not easy. So we'll go towards the left pole, right hand down, left arm up, roll down, twist to the other side. Whew. And again, reach. Oh, if you have lighter rollback bar springs, this is gonna be way more pleasant for you. And reach, and round. Oh, not from the elbows, but from the back. Whew. Okay, I don't know about you, I'm super warm. So let's lie on our back. We're gonna take our opposite leg spring on you. Know, I love this one. This isn't really a twist in the actual body, but what muscles have to work to ground down really do help our twist. So do yourself a favor, give your arms as much of a reach as you can, and then stand on the foot that's on the mat, push the leg out, pull the knee in. And something I'm really working on is how far can I pull the knee in? and keep the back long, right? So let's press and pull. Some of us might stop at 90, some of us might start like at 60, some of us can get all the way into like 20, right? But maybe not, it depends on your hip. And so if you're new to this exercise, it's okay if you stop halfway. Just make sure you stand in that spring, out and in. Out and in. And then stay out, lower the leg down, drag it in and then press it out, lift the leg up, bend your knee in as much as you can and reach, go down, drag it in, reach it out, lift the leg up, pull it in and again, reach down. It should feel like a super delicious single leg stretch, but also, oh, gosh, wouldn't it be great if during crisscross, your knee could reach in that much on its own, right? Take your right leg to straight, left leg up if that's the one that's in your strap. Circle across your body and up. If you want, you can lift the hip into the spring. Go across, here's our twist, and up. If you don't wanna have that dramatic of a twist, just keep your hip down, especially if you're not moving from your center. So if you're moving from your center, my left hip, which has my left foot in the strap, lifts, takes my leg across. I'm reaching through my left leg, my hips plant and I'm even and I take my leg across and again, reach. So there can be a little twisty twist here. You can do this on the mat. I don't teach it very much because not everyone, especially on the mat can do it reverse because it's really easy to um, just let the hip leg hang out in the hip socket and like get clicky. So you have to really learn to keep that glute on. Woo, my glute is on fire. 
Two more if you're enjoying the twist. 